And, lest we forget, I'll be going around collecting all your odds and sods for Mr. Clarkson. See if we can't afford to get him a bunch of flowers and a few DVDs to keep him amused while he's laid off. I mean, you'd think that two weeks' respite from this place would be present enough. Thanks, Steph. Uh, will you tell Tom I'll be around seeing him later in the week? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, morning. Morning. You two have barely said a word to each other for days. Have you had a barney? No. Right. Come on, Scrooge. A quid? Well, he is a mate. Right. I'm gonna count this and then I'm off. I am hiding from someone whose name begins with R and ends in Y. Did I ever invite her into my house? Trouble in the girls' dorm, is there? I nearly have to get written permission to have a bloke stay over. Well, that's what happens. When platonic adults share a roof, they either turn into hippies or enemies. Um, do you want a cup of tea, anyone? Um, yes, please. I can do yours with skimmed milk if you like, Stephanie. Now you've got a boyfriend, you don't want to get a tum tum, do you? <laughs> Lucky I've got you to keep me right, eh, hey, Rubes? Maybe it is time to accept your differences and go your separate ways. Or maybe I should just be more tolerant. Oh, by the way, I popped into the chemist and I got you these. They're like nasal strips, you know, to help with your little snoring problem. I think you might be a little bit adenoidal. Mm. Thanks. That's it. Separate ways. We have got three people to do their exam before we can get this rubbish out of me This is so not fair. Why can't we go first? Because it's in alphabetical order. A for Alicia. OK, everyone, I want you to take two stimulus cards and head to the quiet room, please. Morning, ladies. Ready for your oral examination? <laughs> <laughs> do you want it, boy? You were stressed on a fair. What do you mean you're stressed? Oral is for talking. And with a gob like that, you're bound to get an A. <laughs> Oi! Hey. If you're not doing French, do you want to do one? OK. Good luck. Hey, remember, use that gob of yours, it'll get you far. <laughs> Morning, Miss Lipset. Hi, Joe. Two cards each, and then over to the quiet classroom, please, where there is to be absolute silence from everyone, and I will call you when it's your turn, OK? Gary Appleby. Rubes, can I just have a little chat about our living arrangements? Yeah, of course you can. Oh, do you know, I know we haven't always been the best of friends, but I'm always going to be so grateful for you for taking me in, Steph. Uh, yeah. Um, it's just that living together yeah. has been... Um... Has been a nightmare of biblical proportions and she wants you out. Grantly. Well, would you rather dance delicately around the subject till we all expire of boredom? Oh, just, just ignore him, Ruby. I, I, I didn't mean that at all. It's just that um, the arrangement has always been, has it not, temporary. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. I mean, it goes without saying that you can stay there until you find yourself somewhere decent. Well, I mean, there's no point in being polite about it. I'll just get out of your hair as soon as I can. I wish I'd have got out there sooner. I wouldn't have wasted my time. Oh, it's not like her to walk out the exam. Do you think she's all right? Depends. If you think never enjoying the company of a man makes you all right, then... Oh, sure, man. No, it's true, man. She's a lesbian, isn't she? Roz? Give over. She's like the most boring person in the whole school. It's true. She's been having it off that Miss Lipsit. The pair of them had a lover's tip in front of a year 10 class, I'm telling you. Um, any of you guys seen Ross? What? Maybe we should... Yeah, just one. Yeah, yeah. What's going on there, what? Huh? Right. The thing is... Um... Um... You turned your girlfriend gaugey. <laughs> what are you talking about? You know Roz, don't you? Clever, small, about that high. Yeah? She's, she's into ladies like we're into ladies. Having a laugh, isn't she? <laughs> Deadly serious. <laughs> She's been doing a team with Miss Lipset. Said that she loves her in front of the whole of Sam Kelly's class. Lipset won't be my first choice. 
Mate, she wouldn't even get into my top five, but each other own in it. <laughs> Never guess what we just heard. Miss Lexi's not allowed to take any more classes. She's been suspended. What for? Roz. She's saying that Miss Lexi, you know, did stuff to her. What kind of things? <laughs> They've suspended her. That's what everyone's saying. She might get the sack. Ross? I'm sorry. Ross? It's me. <laughs> oh, typical. Oh, all the work's to be done, and the man is nowhere to be found. <laughs> um, uh, where are you going? I thought I'd pick my youngest up from nursery, if that's all right with you. No. no. Hey, listen, you can't go. Not with all this and all these orders. I, I can't do this on my own. Oh, don't be silly. You'll be fine. Rose, please. Listen, you probably should help me. I can't, love. Honestly. Oh, Rose, please. I've got to go. Don't worry. You'll be all right. <laughs> so, Anna, tell me about this one at uni. I bet he was out every night getting hammered on cider and black. <laughs> Hardly. Nosing the books from what I remember. She's still got better grades than me, though. <laughs> yeah, look, rather than judgment, <laughs> everyone was jealous of Chris's reasoning skills. It's just... He was a bit too passionate sometimes. That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> I refer, of course, to the legal points he was making. <laughs> Beauty, brains, if this one had any sense, he'd have snapped you up years ago. Yeah, well, Chris always had a knack of going for the wrong women. I wouldn't say that. Yeah. I would. Still, a man can change, can't he? I think I'll be seeing you tonight. Maybe you think I'll be too busy running my dictatorship? Adam. <laughs> it's not been the best of days for me today. And I took it out on you, I'm sorry. Right. I know that you were just... You were trying to get me to sh share the load. I, I know. You're right, I should... Why do you do it? Keeping everyone at arm's length. Not allowing yourself to rely on anyone. Why? Adam, it is so easy to lose control in a place like this. It's far too easy to fail. It's... There isn't any room for me to make mistakes. I'm not just talking about this place. You do it with us. You refuse to let me in. I've never given you any reason to doubt me, and yet you just won't trust me. I can't. You and me... Adam, it scares me. OK. Why? I do realise that I'm a control freak. That must be an absolute nightmare. It's just that it's become safer for me to put my life in boxes, and... I've been concentrating so hard on this place. You've forgotten about everything else. I have forgotten how to be in a relationship, yeah. I didn't even want one before. And I know that I'm making a mess of it. Look. I'm not gonna hurt you. You can't say that. I can. No, you can't, Adam. You have no idea what's round the corner for us. N neither of us know that. You're wrong. I do. Or at least what I want to be round the corner for us. Rachel, I just want to spend the rest of my life with you. And...
Well. Well? 